Gen 7's integrated diagnostics make it easy to check the connection status of all the input devices of your timing system, including touchpads, push buttons, and RJPs. In this video, we will cover how to use the diagnostic function and how to solve common connectivity issues. To begin, connect your input devices to your Gen 7 system. Power on your Gen 7 timer and open the Gen 7 software. Click the Diagnostics button located in the toolbar to open the Diagnostics screen. The Diagnostics screen is designed to help find problems with in-deck and on-deck connections such as shorts and corrosion. Start by running Real-Time Diagnostics. Click the Pre-Meet Real-Time drop-down menu and select Real-Time Check, then click Start Test. Assuming there are no swimmers in the pool, all inputs should show as open. If any of the inputs register as shorted or closed, remove the input device. If the error goes away, test the input device with a touchpad meter and replace it if necessary. If the input device tests good, there may be a problem with the deck plate or cable harness. If an input registers as corroded, it could be a sign of a short that is also corroded. Remove the input device and restart with a known, good, corrosion-free push button. If the corrosion error persists, it could be a problem with the deck plate or cable harness. After confirming that all inputs register as open during the real-time diagnostic check, click the Pre-Meet Real-Time drop-down menu and select Pre-Meet Check, then click Start Test. Walk the pool deck and trigger each touchpad, push button, and RJP. Each input should register as closed. If any inputs register as open or shorted, remove the input device and test it with a touchpad meter. Replace the input device if necessary. If the input device tests good, there may be a problem with the deck plate or cable harness. If any inputs register as corroded, check the plug and jack for corrosion. Clean the input device's banana plug with rubbing alcohol and clean the input jack with rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab. Once cleaned, reconnect the input device and retest. If cleaning the connection does not solve the issue, replace the input device. With your scoreboard powered on and connected to the Gen 7 system, it can be used to track inputs while performing the pre-meet check. The place column will show F for far end inputs and N for near end inputs. Touchpads will show P, and push buttons show as A, B, or C. Gen 7 serial systems will show RJPs as R. If a component has an error, E will be displayed in the component's place on the scoreboard. Gen 7 serial deck plates can detect what type of inputs are plugged in to each connection on the deck plate. The operation takes just a few seconds to complete and helps the operator determine if all expected input devices are connected. Missing inputs are given a gray background and mismatched inputs are given an orange background. The feature is available with Gen 7 serial in-deck systems only. For more information about Gen 7 and other CTS products, see our website or other videos.